We drinking water in the bed. In the bed. Bring you over here. Cause I need you. Ooh, I gotta fix this a little bit. Cause I don't know if I like it. I like it right now. Y'all, y'all. I wonder if I'm blurry. I ain't blurry at all. Y'all, y'all. Who's in? Who's gonna be in here today? Let's get the chat. Let's get the chat running. I ain't. Even, I can't even spell. Hey, let me know in the chat if the music's too loud. Cause I can hear it, but I don't want. I want to make sure that it's not too loud on you guys' end. What's going on? How you doing? Hey, hey! Look at y'all coming through the chat. Late night stream. This is how I know y'all grown. This is how I know y'all grown. Y'all not out. It's nine thirty at night. It's nine thirty at night, and y'all not out bumping and grinding and turning up. No, y'all over here watching me. <laughs> y'all over here watching me. What's wrong with y'all? Go, go outside. Go outside. Hold up. I want to make sure this isn't too blurry, bro. Um, let's try that. How I look like back here. Oh God, I, I messed it up. Let's do that. I'm clear. I'm clear, y'all. I'm clear. Oh, I am dropping stuff. Happy Saturday night, man. Happy Saturday night. All right. Let me get this link. Let me post it up on my Twitter real quick. Um, what am I doing? B5 airdrops, bro. I'm live. Let's go. If you haven't already, go ahead, follow me on Twitter. You know how it go. Oh, I didn't even put the Insta. I didn't even put the IG up here yet. No jumper. To Gucci. Profile. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Crypto Kenzie. You know how I'm saying. I be put my. I be putting. I be. You, you see. You see. I'm here at all. Putting the pictures up, putting the info up, letting people know, like, it's this crypto is going on. It's this crypto is going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I go into my DMs real quick, um, just let you guys know, I did an interview with Bitcoin by Max, by Mal, Bitcoin by Mal X. Um, it's definitely go to his YouTube page. It's probably gonna come up um, a little after a while. He did an interview with Bitcoin Vegan. Only got like 70 subscribers, but he's been putting out consistent content over the past month. So definitely check this guy out because I did an interview with him recently. Oh, I didn't even check the chats yet, dog. Ghostface, what's good? Fishing Texans, been a minute. How you doing? It's all good. Um, Tia, Tia, you in the chat, Tia? Hey, what's going on, Tia? Hey, Tia, I ain't gonna lie to you. You gonna be my business CPA, cause I, <laughs> look, <laughs> look. I don't wanna say this on camera, Tia. I really don't, but, <laughs> bro, you gonna, you gonna save me with my crypto taxes, dog, cause, mm-mm, dog, mm-mm. But the stuff, they trying me, dawg. They trying me, dawg. These crypto taxes is gonna be terrible. Terrible. They finna take my money, dawg. So I'm gonna need you, Tia. I'm gonna need you so much. But how you doing, Tia? Thank you for going. <laughs> this dude said, forget your friends. Chase the bag. You damn right we finna chase this bag, man. I've been chasing this bag for three years. Three years. Three years! I've been... Sorry, I, I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> but I did. Three years I've been chasing this bag, man. And... I done gave up too much for this bag. 
that this bag I, I ain't got no choice but to build this bag now you know i ain't got no choice but to build this bag um what's good from france how you doing france appreciate you red snapper bring it in bring it in come on through what up though black money to a dollar <laughs> a dollar a day bro i i'll show you guys because um i remember when i was doing that so um definitely check out the instagram definitely check out bit um definitely check out my instagram but i'm gonna make sure i get to this, this information for you guys um and of course subscribe to the youtube channel but you guys already subscribed because you guys are watching me right now but definitely subscribe to the youtube channel um i'm gonna show you guys the studio so it's been about two months since i've been monetized oh like guys if you guys saw that xrp army video um so if you guys watched it it's easy work if you make an xrp video the xrp community is going to come watch your video that i just let you guys know that they're going to come watch the video so i had to make that video and it did its job it, it got the views it needed it it served its purpose um and i can show you guys this what i think i made like two dollars off of this video um yeah since i made like my estimated made it was like two dollars and sixteen cents off this video, and I remember, I remember, hey, altcoin daily, hey, smash the likes because I got altcoin daily in the chat. Thank you, altcoin daily. Um, I appreciate that. Watching altcoin daily videos every day, every, every day, every day in the bear market. Altcoin daily video, Chico day, um, Chico crypto videos, crypto daily videos every day. Thank you, thank you, Altcoin daily for the the comment. Smash the likes, y'all heard my boy. Smash the likes. Make sure y'all check out Altcoin daily. Um, hold on, I gotta pop this in. Oh, top ten cryptos. Look, look who's at the front. Look who's at the top. YouTube knows what's up. YouTube knows what's up. So make sure y'all follow Altcoin Daily. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, appreciate it, Altcoin Daily. Thank you. Um, it's been a, it's been a long time. I remember commenting on your I remember commenting on your videos talking about like, um, we gonna be hodling this forever and things like that. Um. I'm I'm so happy for you guys. Like you guys were consistent, can deserve everything you guys are getting right now. Cause you guys were consistent and one of the reasons why I stuck around. Cause I wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> but definitely check out all coin daily video. But I was gonna go back to show you guys um do 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 just how much I make, like just being a small channel, because when people don't realize is um because I'm talking about money, I'm talking about finance, um it essentially it, it helps me out because i'm talking about money i get better um C crpm like crm or something like that but i can show you guys like since i've been monetized what is it my that i was monetized for like three days i made like seven bucks last month i made a couple of videos uh, made 120 bucks this is december i've already made five bucks um just small little grinds just to get a little bit more and more and more out there um I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't start making these videos to make money because I definitely started these videos to make money and I don't mind sharing this just a little bit just for you guys to see like this is how much money I've made since being monetized and I know it may not be much to some people but every dollar counts in this bear market because we want to like we, we have to build up as much as possible because when this FOMO hits like oh when this FOMO hits but um I wanted to show you guys something. So this is Badger Dow. This is what I'm. This is the whole reason um, for the thumbnail that I put out. So Badger Dow, no, like so. This came out of nowhere. And if we go look at the price chart right now, it's sitting at like three three dollars and eighty three cents. So it's definitely doing like a little bounce back. But this thing, what is this? This is this morning, right? No, yesterday. This airdrop came out yesterday sitting at about like $8.10. And what was it? Um, pull it up right here. I went to the whole Discord community. 
Welcome. No. Where's the list? Jeez, where's the list? Verification. No. Airdrop support. No. Well, I'm pissed because they literally had like a whole a list of the things that you would have had done to get this airdrop. And now I don't see that list. What? Why? Why why will you do me like this? Maybe airdrop support. Nah. Medium article. Yeah, I'm about to go to the medium article right now. Because Badger Dow Medium article. And you know they got volts. They the <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous. They're teaming up with Urine Finance, another one, a, another, a team. Of, but I, these mergers don't mean nothing to me. Cause what, what are you talking about? X, like, yeah, I get it. Like mergers, cool. Here it is. Okay. So current list of qualifying actions updated. So just to give you guys an, um, what's actually going on. So if you have an Ethereum wallet, right? Um, so essentially you buy some Ethereum, you put it on your own personal wallet. You can use these things called DeFi apps. And so these DeFi apps or DeFi applications, um, essentially, um, developers, they make them and they, they act like financial products. And so you've got, blah, 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 blah. you've got, they act like financial products. So you can send your Ethereum or when you buy Ethereum with your money, you can send your Ethereum to these applications and use them and earn yield and earn a return. You can borrow, lend, all that other stuff. Um, thank you, um, investor. I forgot to check the medium. This is so easy. But um, so this is some of the, this is the list of things that you would have had done to get this airdrop. So and I think is um, what is it? Know your farmer. That's what they call it now. Um, know your farmer. So when they're building these DeFi apps, if you have a wallet that is associated with doing these tasks, if you participated in sushi governance, if you supplied or borrowed or wrapped Bitcoin on Compound, um, all these different things. One of the things that I did was participated in urine governance. Cause if you guys remember one of my old, um, <laughs> your uni maxi, Oh, I got no badge token, no, but, um, but yeah, that's what I did. I participated in urine finance governance, and that's one of the things that I've done, and I got the airdrop, and what was it? And just to be, like, fully transparent, I had got 37, 37 tokens, 37 airdrop tokens. Now, just doing some quick maths. 37 times what was the high the high and we'll just say if i got it if i had got it at the high but i didn't get it at the high just to let you know i did not get it at the high these taxes <laughs> these taxes these taxes but um was it 37 times oh no that's do better mckenzie 37 times what nine dollars three hundred eight three hundred thirty eight dollars so that is an easy three hundred thirty eight dollars if i would have sold it at the quote-unquote top but um going back to it the whole badger thing what did i do there we go the more of these things you've done like if you donated to gitcoin or if you like minted tbt to, like the more of this you've done the more of the airdrop you would have got and so hold on I, I gotta pause this music real quick just so you guys can hear me um that's why I, that's why i play with like these DeFi apps like um, if you check out my channel i did the dydx i, I longed on dydx just so <laughs> do you use software for crypto taxes um you can use um check out zapperfy and zerion i know they partnered with some crypto tax software um a lot of people don't realize all this stuff is tracked 100 like you we're on blockchains everything is tracked it's just 
how is this a matter of time before the tax authorities or the governments are able to build software simple like build software to be able to sh um show you your gains and losses and right now that software is pretty much already built with Zerion and zapper Fi. um but i did videos on that i did a video on that too so just type in like on my channel Zerion or zapper Fi, and i show you like how these apps work and they integrate with um taxes but yeah back to what i was saying is why i use like these DeFi apps why i did the whole dydx thing is because um a lot of these DeFi apps they do not have tokens yet and they're gonna start like back in 2017 airdrops were like a big thing you know what i'm saying and now they're coming back in the form of DeFi apps um almost like ICOs how like um trying to farm these tokens are almost like ICOs as well. So this is what I'm excited this is like exciting in a sense because you're ultimately making money by testing these new types of software out, but it's also scary because we are taking a risk. A lot of these DeFi apps like think of look at this one. Nah, you got to mute. I'm busy. I'm working. I'm working. Um you got to look at this one right here participated in yam governance do you guys even remember yam i don't even think people remember yam or yam v2 yam v1 like there's yam v2 and yam v1 but if you participated in this governance but i don't think my own people will remember look look at what happened to this token 47 dollars down to like six dollars and this is what yam v2 this is when they try to come back and fix things now, if we look at um, Yam V1, look at Yam V1. What was it popping off at like ridiculous amounts? Now, I don't want market cap. I want price. Stop playing. Yeah, look at Yam V1 starting at like 30 something dollars and now sitting at like something cents. So you would have lost so much money if you would have held on to this thing. But and you would have participated in the governance and believed in it. You probably would have lost so much money. And it's a rebase token. So a lot of people don't understand how the rebase thing works. But if you would have done that, you would have probably earned this free token right here. Now, just sitting here thinking about it, like, so now I've earned this free token. Like, what happens to my taxes when I do that? Like, this money just popped up into my wallet. Um, if I sell it, how much of a, how much of that gain do I have to pay on? Like that's ridiculous. Like out of that, if I would have sold it at the top, that three hundred something dollars, how much of that it has to go to the government? You know, so that's just food for thought. Let me get back to these comments. Let me get back to this chat, and let me turn this music back on. Even though I felt like it was a little on the loud side on my end, I don't know. Let me let me because I I feel like it's a little bit loud on my end. Let me know how the music is on my end. Medium article, mushroom, mushroom, coin gecko to medium. I got a, I got no bad because I'm on uni maxi. Um, do you use tax software? Some guy on the internet said, as long as I don't get on Coinbase. Yeah, um, that's that's a good interpretation, but I know people that are in the people are in this crypto thing to um people are in this crypto thing to cash out into cash. You know what I'm saying? Where are you going to cash out at? Are you going to cash out on Coinbase? Are you going to cash out at Gemini? Are you going to cash out at um, Atomic Swaps wallet, like Exodus wallet? Where are you going to cash out at? Because you're, you're going to have to cash out somewhere. Some people see you're not planning to cash out. So then what you're going to go into stable coins, you know, and then you've got what USDC, which is controlled by the US government. Like I put this on everything. USDC is the new US dollar and people don't realize that yet because like US is not going to let crypto get away from them. No matter how much we say it, um, they're, they're going to have their hands, whether it's exchanges, whether it's USDC It's I don't think it's going to be die because, um, just the way that die works. But you know they've been, you know they've been blocking USDC um, contra, um, wallets and whatnot with, because they're doing strange things. What happens when they think that DeFi is a strange thing and they start blocking it for that? 
So I, I'm we want to make sure you guys, you know, be aware of that too. Want to be a long-term liquidity provider? I've so I've seen a lot of that. Um, people are using the ETH pair, the ETH pair with all these different um, new tokens. Maybe less of the new tokens and more um, of the the longer-term um, ERC twenty tokens. Maybe like maybe Engine. I'd probably do like Engine and ETH at a very low price and ride the price up for sure. Is airdrop token profits equivalent to gift taxes? See, that's the question. Is it? But I don't think it is. Um, and the crazy thing about it is I was reading up on this because I actually did an interview with um the people from Token Tax. That's why I'd be talking about this sometime. And you know, guys, you guys remember um I'm I'm a I'm a tax accountant. Um I do sales and use tax, I've done business taxes, 1120s, 1240s. So I that's why I always come back to it and whatnot. But I was reading up on it. If you get an airdrop token and you get like this free money and then you take that free money and try to like flip it with another token. And if you lose that money, um, any losses that you take on, you know, taking the free money, trying to flip it at this other token, you can't claim those losses on the other token that you took because of some rule or whatever. Bro, I swear to God, they're, they're making this stuff up as they go at this point making this stuff up as they go um but we're gonna go just just check out the price of bitcoin right now i had to pull this up for you guys um how is the music because i just want to make sure this music isn't like too unbearable or whatnot mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah i use the eth pair on all my pools yep Bro, the government's gonna do whatever they want. They're literally making it up at like they making it up as they go. I know you guys saw my other video on the XRP Army video where I was talking about um they came out with the new regulation for stable coins. Um and everybody knows how I, I don't know if everybody knows how die works, but die works in the sense of you provide your crypto collateral and then you they print out die and whatnot. So um, other people, other developers are creating tokens like um, compound, like the the die token, where you provide link or you provide any other token to get a stable coin or a stable credit kind of token, and that's what they're pretty much trying to stop. They're like, nah, we can't have these like stable coins, stable credit tokens that we can't control, but. Um, when it comes to those type of tokens, it's really all about the debt ratio and the supply. Um, and you, you know, you being over collateralized when you're putting in money. So you have to be very careful with that kind of stuff. Crazy, crazy, but, oh, look at this. Look at this Bitcoin chart guys. Look at this Bitcoin chart. I'm a little worried. I, I, I'll be a hundred percent. I'm a little worried right now just because of the level of volatility that we're getting up here granted we're we've been we've sat up here for a while like this is congratulation mode like auto i maybe i wonder if this is the best chart to look at i'm i think i'm gonna leave it on this chart just because but looking at the weekly this week is kind of scary because that looks like a reversal candle um but the fact that it was bought up and the fact that we still haven't got a candle like this where we have most of the action happening down here and we topped out somewhere. This is what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for a candle like this. Once I see a candle like this, I know we have some time to um, consolidate and then retrace and keep on moving. Do, 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 do. but like i said guys i'm worried a little bit right here you know i got some indicators i got some macd and i got the rsi and they help they they surely help but um trying to catch bottoms and trying to catch tops like i will say on the daily um definitely on the daily buying at these um rsi levels on the daily have been proven to be very like profitable for me 
um you see how right here i was buying some right here when i when we had this crash i was like oh let me get some more down here and so now we're at this upper end and really i'm waiting up for us to make that crash back down to, down here once we do that again um i'm loading up i'm telling my people's load up because you know you won't regret it you won't re you, you you can't regret it like a year from now when you bought so when like if a year from now we come back we look at this and we're like you know we're at 30k <laughs> how can you be mad that you bought at 20 how can you be mad you bought at 19 speaking of look look oh guys i gotta pull up wait am i shadow banned don't tell me i'm shadow banned i don't want i don't i don't want to i don't want to think about me being shadow banned right now No, I don't think I'm shadow banned. Oh, my dude that DCA adventurers are on. Um, no, I'm up. I'm up. I'm I'm straight. I I, I find myself easy way. <laughs> I don't know why I came up with this this dumb this this dumb. <laughs> But hey, clickbait, man, clickbait. That's that's what you need. All the clickbait stuff. But I mean, look, guys, you gotta love this. You gotta love this. Rich billionaire white men putting in millions of dollars into Bitcoin. Um, so I remember watching this article, looking at this. Um, these publicly traded companies they have to disclose publicly. Um, when they buy Bitcoin for their treasury and guys, this Michael Saylor is sold, bro. He's, he's freaking sold. Like he is simping over this Bitcoin stuff. Like over, what is it? How much have they done at this point? I know he has like a hundred million of personal Bitcoin for himself that he's disclosed, but his company did like another, he did like what? 400 million at around like $9,000 and that's doubled and he's getting so much attention. I want to wait and see when Bitcoin crashes, what the, what the effects are. Cause he's buying 50 million at 19,000 per Bitcoin. This is such a signal telling others like, no guys, I am, I'm, I'm in this for the long haul. Like it's the FOMO, the foaming of the mouth for these Bitcoins. Uh, Bitcoin's not going to crash. You, you sure it's not going to crash, bro? Cause this is, this is looking scary. Like maybe it's because I have, I really do have bear market PTSD a stock to, so, um, stock to flow model money to supply increase. So speaking of like the stock to flow model, um, 100 trillion, um, whatever the 100 trillion guy, he's blocked me. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't do anything to him, but I'm blocked by him. 100% blocked by him. So I can't see the stock to flow charts that he posts anymore. How you get shadow tracked on? <laughs> How you get shadow banned on your own? Um, but what was it? But let's see. If you're talking about, we can look into Bitcoin. Um, charts. Where's the stock to flow? We, we, here's the original stock to flow model. So, you, so you're not. So yeah. So here, Plan B. And if it goes to his Twitter, I'm blocked. 100 trillion what did i do i didn't do nothing somebody tweet at him unblock me i didn't do nothing i like your charts like make me fomo please but here's the stock to flow chart my oh how are we so like we're still orange man and we're still in the green we're still in the green because we can see right here like when we get into that red it's time to sell, bro. Like it even showed us back here when we were at 14K um, way too early last year. It was telling us sell and now it's telling us buy and we're at like 18K. Um, that's ridiculous. That's uh, that's personally, honestly ridiculous. Um, 80K, 80K. Like this is, this these, these price predictions are crazy. Um, on DYD, like, is there a minimum ETH the margin trade? Like, yeah, there, there's definitely a minimum level of ETH that you have to have to, um, 
let me see if i pull it up for you guys i like this background this background is so dope i would like i wish i could print this or like save the image because this is nice i like that i'm open a new tab because I'm, I'm trying to find a way to save that image um that's what i was doing d y d x let me just make sure hold on yeah i knew it i knew it hold on two seconds I know y'all like the fact that I'm not sneezing over here going crazy with the allergies so let me I had to go get my ledger real quick I've been using my ledger I've been using my ledger more and more recently Because I've been watching what a lot of stuff like people have been what? Hold on. Telling me my password. Hold on, y'all, because I'm over here trying to put in my password to this and it's not working. Ooh, ooh, because I don't think I don't think people realize Ledger gives you like um, three attempts to get on that. And I, I I really, really didn't want to have to like wipe out my ledger and then reboot it. There we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Sorry about that. Sorry about the wait, y'all. Where are you? All right, so DYDX, um, minimum ETH, margin trade, one ETH. Yeah, so um, I just connected my wallet right now. Um, I, don't, I forget how much ETH do I even have in this wallet. But what you would have to do is you would deposit. It would ask you how much you want to deposit from your wallet. Um, you can deposit ETH and earn some interest, but a lot of the time um you can't you can't even um max let's just say i wanted to deposit the max amount of eth right now right and i'm gonna put it on the spot account no i'm gonna put it on the margin account so i put it on the margin account you can put it on the spot account if you want but i'm gonna put mine on the margin account oh you guys probably can't see it because my head's in the way We'll just say we'll just do the max, right? We'll just do the max, confirm. And then it's gonna ask me, do you want to? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna just do the max. Just just to, just this is just a test. Confirm. And then I'm Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've used DYDX on this before. And so now what's happening is, yep, it's, I can go. Uh, hasn't popped up here yet, but that's all right. Um, so now it's depositing my ETH into this um, smart contract right now. And so we'll wait for that to happen. 
I hate Nexo for not giving old users the 3x interest. Mm -mm, I don't even I, I don't even use like CFI. I don't even use like centralized interest ones. I'm strictly using DeFi stuff because you you can see that these CFI stuff, um, like Celsius, like Crypto.com, um, they're not making no tokens for themselves. Not Crow Crow. Um, they they've been pumping the hell out of that token for sure. Um, people are earning if you deposit your BTC, you earn the crow token and you earn that interest. So that's good. Confirmed transaction confirmed. Um, so we can see right here, if you look at this little corner, that two two something two point four ETH that was in my wallet is now into the smart contract. And then um I can longer short ETH. So this is the ETH to USDC chart. Um, and this is how I know that DYDX, they're probably going to have to KYC soon because I don't think they're going to allow people to um, long and short USDC on a on a decentralized app. So they might have to, I, this is personally me. So if I'm thinking that ETH, so let's pop over here and um, we'll use ETH to BTC. ETH the BTC. So we look like we're trying to make this support on ETH the BTC right now. And you can see how we've hit this so many times. Bomb here, here, here. Crashed under it for like a year. Bomb popped over it, made it support, but then crashed under it. And now we're coming back up here trying to make it support. So we'll see if we can make it support to then pop up even higher. But this is just ETH the BTC. And the reason why I look at ETH the BTC is because um, what's the point of holding the altcoin if it's not doing better than Bitcoin? So that's why um, you, sometimes you really got to compare it to like um, to BTC. But right now it looks like we're trying to make this area support to pop off higher. Um, but let me go ahead and give you guys the ETH to USD chart just so that it's easier to see. Boom. Yeah, so now we look at the ETH the USD chart. We're sitting here at six hundred dollars. Um, we've been just like like it's literally um since since Bitcoin's been skyrocketing, it's been following Bitcoin for the most part. And it looks like it wants to go to a thousand dollars. It looks like it wants to go to like make at least eight hundred. 845 which is the next resistance zone but it looks like it wants to keep going higher the way the way that bitcoin's moving higher but um me right now i'm just like there's just too much volatility right now for me to make a trade but you can go 2x 3x 4x 5x or even custom but 5x is the highest you can go and let's just say i wanted to use the max boom so boom So if I wanted to use a 5X, margin deposit would be 2.4 ETH, trade amount would be, so what happened is I'd put in 2.4 ETH, I'd get, I'd get a position size of like nine ETH, expected price, worst price would be the price that I'd get in. Liquidation price is right here. $552 would be my liquidation price. 3.3% would be my interest rate that I'd have to pay. Um, and the fee amount right here would be $18. So I'd have to pay $18. Now it doesn't look like I can do this. Um, let's see if, let's see if, um, if I do like a position size of 10. So yeah, so if I do like a position size of 10, um, I can do this. There's still 3%. Um, my liquidation price is still at like 550. Um, so if my liquidation price is 550, um, at this price right now, going down to five fifty, yeah. So if ETH goes down seven percent, I'm liquidated. So that's not something that I'd take. You know what I'm saying? That's not something that I'd 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 be risking. But it shows you right here, like yeah. So the some I'd get in at six percent. So. Um, if ETH goes down 7% and that's just too quick for me, like just to be honest, that's way too quick. And so like, just, let's just say I did a two X, right? So let's, let's clear this out. 
So if I wanted to do like a three X and do um six ETH, right? Boom. So I did like a three X, six ETH. Um margin deposit would be two ETH, trade amount would be four ETH. Expected price will still be 600 worst price, but you can see my liquidation position right here changes and it changes from that 550 to 450 Which is even like it's a better position You know, I'm not risking as much So going down to 450 so ETH would have to go down 26% for me to get liquidated and I can see that happening You know what I'm saying because this looks like a support area right here so I personally me I'd wait to get the support area, but um, that's just me just showing you guys a little bit But I did do a video on it. So check out that video where I did it where I started out Um, What I'm gonna do now is And that was just to answer the D-Dex has better everything but people hate on it. Why do people hate on D-Dex like that? At JJ, okay, a bot scammed you for 1%. Um, also, are you trading? You shouldn't trade anywhere. You don't have cross, isolated, leverage, basically gambling. Yeah, yeah, show me this. Share this knowledge. I need to know this. Like, I need to see this. Um, can I tell you why, why you shouldn't trade on DYDX a lot or DeFi trading platforms? Um, I, I just I have to use ledger man. I have to use ledger because people can um So what people can do is they can um if you just have like a web top a web um a web Desktop app like metamask and you're just leaving your money sitting on there um people can like um, hack your computer and scan how you're typing and see your metamask password and log in so just be careful with that. So that's why I use um, Ledger because you know, you got. I have to physically use my Ledger to approve things. Um, do 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 do. Front run leverage trade that is front run. Next year, Celsius Tech is by don't earn them. Um. Bots will front run you always leverage. So I, I, I get what you're saying. Bots are going to front run me. But the same thing of Uniswap, if you trade in a big amount, you will get front ran. Mm, also, if you're trading, you shouldn't. Um, also, if you're trading, you shouldn't trade anywhere that don't have cross using isolated leverage um, is basically gambling. Good luck, man. I appreciate you showing me that. Yeah, no problem. And then yeah, just like J JJ, you're giving you giving solid advice. I'm not even gonna hold you. You're giving solid advice. You're telling people um, with the whole isolated. You're telling people, um, and they do have they do have cross and isolated right here. Um, so I don't really know the difference between the cross and isolated. So maybe you can like tell me. But they do have cross and isolated here. Um, but I didn't make a position yet. Um, I did already make a position. I closed it after a, a certain point. SNX, yeah, bro, SNX. Oh man, you've been talking about SNX. I wish I would have gotten to SNX, man. At some point, yep. So, um, all I'm gonna do is withdraw. I just wanted to show you guys this. I wasn't even gonna really make a trade on here, but I wanted to show you guys. So, withdraw. Yeah, and just I just paid a fee. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Pop up over here. Review transaction. Pop that over here. Ooh, thank you, says. Give me back my money. Put my <laughs> put my money back in my wallet for me, says. I appreciate you. But that was just a little detour. Um, popping through the things that I wanted to talk about. Willie Wu's crazy Bitcoin price predictions of like three hundred k. Um, we looking at the stock the flow model stock the flow models talking about 90 transaction confirmed money back in my wallet. Thank you um, Stock the flow model talking about 90 
And the next stock to flow model level after that is like a million and at what? I don't even know. 2026? Six years from now, we're talking about a million dollars per Bitcoin. Maybe eight years from now, almost a decade, a million dollars per Bitcoin. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. I don't, like, I, as much, like, it can't be that simple. But the way that these coins move so similarly, it just can't be that simple. But he's crazy, ridiculous, crazy price of 200K. Willie, look, be an ultra bull. Thank you. You, you, thank you. Be that bull that we need. My Roth IRA, though. What? Tax free. You never owe money, just lose principal. That's crazy. <laughs> Versus 2026, I'm cashing out. <laughs> um, and then we're looking over here at the adoption curve. I love these on chain metrics. I don't like, they be pulling up these on chain metrics off of Webull, and I'm. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be trusting what they be saying. What was it? Dan Held actually had a good tweet right here. I wanted to show it. It's a nice little gif. Ain't no way this is today, bro. How old is this gif? You know, the whole Lindy effect. We can't just be here. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. And you're talking about when it hits a million dollars, we're going to be up here. We're going to see because, I, hey, look, I'm here for the long run. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. At least, you know, it may not be the main thing, the main, main thing that I'm doing, but I'm be here on this crypto for the rest of my life. So to the next 10 years, dog. S&P, um, so this article had came up, S&P, um, S&P Dow Jones indices to launch crypto indexes in 2021. So essentially they're just looking up price feeds. You can't actually buy anything, but the S&P is going to pull up the price feeds and show everybody like this is legit, a legit market. Um, you can legit invest in this market and whatnot. So this is, this is what's up. Like this is. Bitcoin's up 2%. Jesus. Like, we've been raging all week. What are you talking about? Um, Going back to this, just... Oh, leave. Pulling back. Mm. I'll just say this. Alts look like... Alt looks like they're about to pop off. Now go back to futures. Going back to our price. If I put it on the four hour, why did I, why did I come here? Why did I come here? Ranging all week. Yeah, we've been ranging all week. Like, that's just it. We're consolidating up here. Ready to get the next move up, hopefully. Um, 2%, but more respect for the space. That's what I need. Yo, bro, what what airdrops are out there right now? I remember my free uni bucks. <laughs> that free, bro, the way Uniswap did their airdrop, like they they oh they 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 knew what they were doing, bro. They knew what they were doing. Um, they knew what they were doing, but I think the uni airdrop was so rushed because they had to compete with Sushi Swap. That I don't know if they really, really, really know what they're doing with that governance tokens because I heard even like even people with crypto clout can't get a proposal pushed through through Uniswap, like they at all. And so I had to get the gum on D5 Pulse. If we pop up D5 Pulse right here, how long have I been on? Okay, only 50 minutes. Look at sushi swap is coming up, and that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit later. Um, sushi swap is coming up, about to lock up the same amount, they're about to flip Uniswap, and that's crazy. But of course, you know, you got rap Bitcoin, and that's what the whole Badger thing was about. Just going back to the whole Badger thing, 
it's all about rap bitcoin using ren btc minted ren btc minted sbtc like if you're out here really like using DeFi stuff and their whole point their whole goal for this is for people to use um rap bitcoin even more and more so the more people using rap bitcoin the more people getting on eth the the bet the, the better quote unquote but yeah we're going to talk about this sushi swap thing um dan smp um i know everybody saw this by now everybody because of the whole now nah, i got it shout out crypto daily Stop playing with me. So you can't, you guys can't hear them. Is it too low or is it like, is it too low to hear? Or is it like, how do I put it? Cause I'm over here and it says that it, you got, it, you guys should be able to hear it. It's silent. Ah, ah, I already know this thing is going to be, it's going to, it's going to trip. I'm not even going to be worried about it, but essentially what they're talking about is, um, they, I, this is why I'm so glad I already got my ledger and my treasure straight up. Uh, I'm so glad I got these already and I bought them because they're not going to stop me. Um, they can, they're going to regulate Coinbase. That's what they're going to do. Um, the way you're going to get, going to be able to get in and out of Coinbase, in, in and out of Gemini, in and of, out of all of these centralized exchanges. Um, they're going to regulate how you can um send funds from your coinbase wallet that they control to your personal wallet you're gonna have to kyc all your wallets because they want these taxes bro they're not playing with us they want these taxes <coughs> make sure this mu music isn't too loud but yeah it's it's all about the taxes dog don't don't fall on me and get all this, this stuff out my eye but that's pretty much what they're saying they're not gonna they're they they really just want these taxes wallets carlos hey carlos shout out for shout out for shout out for the the five dollar tip man appreciate that thank you um uh, what do you do to turn your cash into crypto coinbase um, yeah, I still have my Coinbase account because I'm U.S. citizen and I, you know, that was my first exchange that I got. Um, granted, they've been they've been in the news a lot for like treating black people, you know, just corporate, you know, corporate infrastructure. Black people don't get respected because, you know, they, they're, they're not considered it as intelligent as others. So whatevs. But um, Coinbase is a good place to cash out. Um cash app is yeah just like bobby Sh Schmurder. um like just like bobby said cash app that's but you know cash app is just strictly bitcoin which i think they're going to change um binance us i didn't even sign up for a binance us account when they announced it because i already had a coinbase one and i just didn't want to give up so much information anymore i i wanted to stop giving up I just wanted to stop giving up my information to these centralized exchanges. And I'm like, I'm good. I'm, I've got decent, you know, exchanges that I can get on. So I'm straight for now. I need a tax accountant. That's not afraid of prison. <laughs> Look, dog. it's scary. Like hopefully my, hopefully my girl Tia can help me out with mine. Cause like I can do mine, but like, and I got these softwares that can do it, but 
um sometimes i want to argue with the softwares because i was looking on zerion um i was looking on zerion and i was looking at one of my unstaked transactions because i was using one of the wi-fi vaults and it said when I up when I put it in the Wi-Fi vault, it was like Wi um Wi-Fi staking, and then when I took it out of the Wi-Fi vault, it was saying buy, uh, it was a buy, and I'm like, well that's not a buy, that's me unstaking, so why is this considered a buy? And so that's why I was getting a little confused at because I'm like, nah, this this can't be right, and that's how I was looking at Zerion. and I'm like, mm, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I still got my money locked onto my Binance account since no, bro. I just, I, did you guys see the tweet that I put out the other day? Um, I put this out the other day. Um, shout out for the likes and the tweets on there. Peanut butter jelly time. Pop my bags. Yeah. Fishing ads right here. Still had some coins on Binance I forgot about. Whoop, I can buy myself Christmas gifts now. But this was true, this was like 100%. Like I I had some coins on Binance and I was good. I had to, had, had to take them off because they, they kicking US people off of Binance. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> what happened to your VPN? Oh Lord, oh Lord, why you calling them out like that? Why you calling them out with his VPN? Um, this was something that I found interesting as hell. Um, let me pull this up so y'all don't see me. See, that's, I know I had a button for not me not showing up. I found this one interesting as hell. Um, so this is a chart that goes back all, like we get the whole Bitcoin chart. And I wanted to show you guys this. Like, so we're here, this is what... We're in 2010 and just look how similar like these, these, these patterns go like Bitcoin is so similar. And that's why I really be thinking like, it's all math. Like these, these pumps in Bitcoin are math based and not just human based. I mean, granted, I know there's like maybe some human element to it, but like, look at this. So we're starting off. Um, this is 2010, right? And this has the whole chart since it's been, Boom, boom, one cent to 50 cent. Look how similar these charts start looking. Boom, dollar, boom, eight dollars, boom, thirty dollars, crash. Like, look at how similar this pop off is compared to this pop off and how we just crash and then we keep going we really accumulate and keep going 2012 pop off crash very similar pop off crash look how similar these charts look i'm telling you guys it's all straight math Consolidate and y'all everybody knows it's the last bull run Pop off now this pop off was just a little bit slower, but pop off and Look at how we crash and look how similar that shit is On to the next one Jesus bro <laughs> Jesus I ain't want to do a whole face scan, <laughs> bro. They want your life and soul. They want your life and soul when you get on these exchanges, dog. I'm not giving them up. I got to get a dual send to St. <laughs> y'all Lucia. <laughs> y'all in St. Lucia? I'm a broke college student. I didn't care how to do. <laughs> y'all better shut up. Y'all better shut up, dog. Um. How much? Okay, we about to hit the hour mark, so I want to make sure. Um, just some bullish news. Um, Spotify looking for people. See, this is my thing. Um, so Spotify is hiring somebody new. 
for their crypto for CBDCs and accepting CBDCs and different cryptocurrency assets. Here's my thing. Unless you're in like stable coins, I, I've I've paid for something in a stable coin. I think it was um, a Twitch subscription. I paid for one of my friends trips um, Twitch subscription and they went through Bybit. Not is it Bybit? Bybit's the the ex, the leverage trading exchange. I'm talking about um, BitGo. There we go. They used BitGo. Um, yeah, I believe it's BitGo. They used BitGo, and you were able to connect your Ethereum wallet directly and pay in ETH or USDC. But it looks like they're looking for someone to help with their infrastructure. Like everybody sees what's going on at Coinbase, bro. They see that people like the whole Bitcoin trading and whatnot, and it being like um like one like what two thirds of their revenue last quarter. Man, they, they they know that they're leaving money on the table, so they gotta come through. Monthly looking like 50 54 K in six months. Bro, you, you think these governments gonna let that happen? You think these governments gonna be like, hey man, hey. Pull out, pull out some nonsense news. Pull out, we're gonna ban it again just to crash the price. And that's like if they come out, if they come out and say that they're thinking about banning it and the price crashes, that's how you know we got crazy FOMO people in here. Stupid crazy FOMO people in here. And we got too much retail money. Cause if you're if you've been holding on long enough, you realize ain't nothing fun to go down. But this is bullish news altogether, just to realize that hey, we 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 fun to be moving. Hop on the train. Keep it coming. <laughs> Banks don't really lose anything because you bought Bitcoin. No, nah, they don't. Look at the chart. It's just math. It's just like, I swear, it's just math. Yeah, banks only lose money if you pull money out the bank. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And I'm keeping this 100%. Um... These past couple months, I've been like, I don't know why it looks like, like, I got like dry, like stop looking like I got dry. Um, I've been operating with very little cash in my bank, bank account. Like <laughs> as much as I want to say, I, <laughs> have y'all seen the meme? <laughs> I know you guys have seen the meme where it's, um, Leonardo DiCaprio and is like my bank account says zero I'm broke but then you look at it and he's got it right here he's got his little ledger and all his money is in the ledger my bank account is zero though <laughs> that that meme is oh that meme just had me rolling had me rolling but yeah and so yeah that's low-key why I think banks is losing money because I'm operating with Z like I haven't I haven't got this notification from my bank in a while, but it was the notification like, hey, um, your bank account looks like you're trending towards zero this month. I'm like, I know I don't keep I don't keep money in there. I really don't. Oh. Okay, so this thing popped off to another thing already. Well, yeah, it's been an hour, so it already knows. Popping this over here. Um, for my link heads, for my link marines. This has been a trend that Link has been doing since April of 2019. This is the link to BTC chart. And we're finally getting to a support area where Link usually comes back down to. Now, looking at the VPVR, I may want to see it come back down to like five, um, 50, 53,000 Satoshis because that's just where the volume is because we, we don't really have much action here. But we're reaching a point where um, Link likes to bounce off with BTC. So definitely look at that. That's stanky lanky. You know it. <laughs> link equals send it. Link UVT army. Look, look, look. Don't do it. Don't do it to me, dog. Don't make me look at that UBT chart. Because I know that UBT chart is killing it right now. I know that UBT chart is killing it right now. <sighs> no, no. I 
should have got a bag. I sold my bag. I, I told you guys I sold my bag right here. And I haven't got back in because ugh, UBT just had such low volume. Such low volume. And I was worried. And like, I told myself, hey, get back in. This area is looking like it's support. This area is looking like it's support. McKenzie, get back in. Nope. Sent it. Gone. Gone. And now I'm not I'm not chasing it, bro. I'm not chasing it. I wanted I wanted to come back and make this top support. And so I can come because wherever this is about to go, it's about to go. Breaking all like anytime a coin breaks all time how all time highs, gone. Gone, dog. Gone. So my linkies dog. <laughs> Oh man, I know y'all looking at the UBT like, but my link is the <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I'm pissed. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, dog. Seeing this, but it just happened in such a short amount of time. That's that's how you know it's alt season, guys. That's how y'all know. Like, don't let people even tell you Bitcoin is moving sideways right now. We are having our alt season right now. So just remember that we're, we're, we're in our alt season. Just don't, don't be trying to catch. Just don't be trying to catch these tops. I'm, I'm just get what you want. Um, just to let you guys know, um, I'm this whole yearn partnership stuff. So there's been a lot of yearn partnerships, all these accumulations of different, like, um, protocols, just looking at it, sushi, clover, pickle, cream, Acro, um, Keeper. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember the whole like Blue Kirby, but clearly Blue Kirby's back pumping up, pumping out con pumping out tweets and whatnot. And um people are waiting for the automated market maker that Yearn is gonna make. They're doing like um leverage trading for altcoins. It's gonna be oh my god, this you guys gotta be in DeFi, bro. Because what's going to happen is going to be just wild. But nobody voted on these. Um, nobody voted on these um, partnerships. That's the only thing that I was a little worried about. Because nobody voted on like accumulating all these different protocols and putting them under the urine banner and calling it, you know, partners and whatnot. So it makes me really question when Blue Kirby interview, man. Now, you know, y'all know, yeah, I don't know if y'all know the rumor, but Blue Kirby's a millionaire. Um, they paid like they paid Blue Kirby stupid money because all the stuff that he did, he did for free. Like all the shilling and the hyping and all that stuff, did all that stuff for free. And at the top, they gave this dude like a million dollars worth of Wi Fi. And I remember because it, it came from and people are calling him out about it because, of course, they knew his wallet addresses and stuff. And that's why he had to, like, disappear. Always pocket watching in this space. Always. That's all this space is, is pocket watching, especially when you get into it for real, for real. Um, but just going back, this stuff makes me worried because um, I hold this token for sure. And I didn't, I didn't I didn't have no choice in any of these decisions. And so it makes me question, like, what's the whole point of the governor's token if I ain't going to govern anything like that? But I've been making some votes on it. And, you know, that's why, you know, going back to this whole Badger airdrop. You know, I'm glad that I'm, I'm glad that I did one of these things because I'm pretty sure this is going to happen again. I'm pretty sure more airdrops are going to come and saying, hey, did you participate in this? Especially you're in finance governance. That one always comes up, bro. If you if you participated in that initial you're in finance governance or meta cartel Dow. Ah, Jesus. So that's only some one thing that I just wanted to talk about that I'm worried about, like these DeFi tokens. That's why I don't really degen into it too much because it's just it's just too much, bro. It reaches a point where it's just like what? But what is it? Don't don't forget the flare airdrop XRP. Y'all see, y'all see, look, man. They even they're even charting this stuff out. Man, we're gonna see in a couple of days when this flare airdrop happens, what happens to the price? Cause from what I've been seeing. 
it's holding high. There was definitely a sell-off, but the fact that this sell-off got bought up and it's just trying to make support here. And if I do... The fact that we're still sitting up here kind of thinks makes me think that we're gonna go higher. I'm looking at the USD chart, still doing the same thing, still consolidating. Um, that's crazy that if you've been buying XRP all throughout here and just been accumulating lower and lower and lower and lower, you made all your gains back within like a day or two. You know, like within a day, all this accumulating paid off. Make your money where you can. That's all I say. Make your money where you can. 100, 120 ocean by what's good, Ninja Grassmaster, Mr. Freeze, JJ. The trend is your friend till it's not. BTC trend is up and don't break that trend unless under 3,800. Them governor tokens are just 2027 ICO scammy as fuck. Make your money, but yeah, be careful. Yeah. 100%, bro. 100%. I've, I've, I've already peeped that. I've already peeped that, man. Making money off of scam coins. Do what you got to do. Because um, I got goals, bro. I got, I've, I've, like I said, dog, I've sacrificed a lot for this crypto stuff just to be here. Um, If I'm going to give up all that, I better, I better run up the bank account. Run it up as far as I can. If I'm going to give up all that for this, Run it up as far as like UBT. I don't want to look at this no more, man. I don't want to look at UBT. That plan B, DeFi. Well, yeah. That, that, okay, so now that we let's look at some coins, guys, because this is I'm about to wrap it up because we've been about an hour and eleven minutes. Um, go ahead and show me some coins. Let me know what coins that you're buying. Let's see what's let's see what's going on. But look, look at the hype. C Cover Sora. Oh, Robotnik's. Uh, I'll tell you guys a story about that. Clover. I don't have any Clover. I know this is cover. Was it Clover? I said Clover, but it's cover. DeFi insurance, but that thing is popping off. That thing's looking good. Ben made new all-time highs. Yeah, I told you when something makes all-time high, it just it just pops off. But you see how it made an all-time high and then came back down? to make its last all-time high support. That's what I want to see. And when it does that, it pop off some more. I've been checking out Keep Network, TBTC, like Ren, but more DeFi and use ETH as backing for BTC. Okay, I've been, I've been, I've been seeing that. Um, let's see, TBTC. Is TBTC the um the safe way to earn with your Bitcoin? Start minting. Every TBTC is backed by BTC. No intermediaries redeem TBTC. So there's no intermediary audited open source. Okay, three steps to convert BTC to TBTC. I'm gonna have to check this out. Does it connect to like um? Let me just check something. Okay, still in alpha. No games, just bad math. Deposit. Block. Okay. So you could probably deposit. Let me put this back over here for you guys to see what I'm looking at. So it looks like you can create an address, collect lock, you can connect the wallet. And I'm guessing you connect your wallet. You connect your wallet for Bitcoin and then convert it to like TBTC or something. And they hold it in like some sort of smart contract, maybe. At least that's what I would assume. But you're saying, but they're saying like pure no intermediaries. I, I want to test that. I want to make sure that the the con, the smart contract doesn't have like an admin key. You know what I'm saying? Like make sure that that doesn't have an admin key. That way the admins can't do what they like. The developers can't do crazy stuff to it. TBTC. What else did y'all put in the chat? 
base is it base money or just just based i've i've I, I, don't you guys remember I did a video on this one when I did this wow the crazy how low the market cap has gotten oh but it's a rebase token it's a rebase token its goal is to be at a dollar but um it's all about the market cap if the market cap gets higher um to check it out bro it be come out of nowhere oh base protocol Okay, so not. Oh, so you're talking about that new one. You're talking about this one, base protocol. Uh, but it's also another rebase token. Same, same concept. Exact same concept, bro. You're looking at the market cap. You're making sure that if you're getting more market cap, you know, buying this rebase token here at seventy six cents, you'd want it to go back to a dollar. But if the market cap is increasing from the last time you got it then you're getting more con yeah it's already 10 x i'm chilling bro i'm not i'm not chasing these coins i'm not chasing them i'm not chasing badger dow that was a hot list one base protocol but yeah a rebase token make these games but it's so early bro so early only been around what since december 1st so early bro those things you got to be on your toes um rt rxt bro rxt pumped look at this rxt pump not gonna lie um i have bought some rxt right here at like 28 dollars i bought some rxt at 28 dollars um Wrote it up to 42, did nothing with it, held on to it down to four. I didn't buy none down here because I'm like, oh, this coin dead, dead. And then that pump happened and I started watching it, but I was just like, I'm gonna just wait. And then I was down here and I'm like, I'm gonna just wait because it looks like it wants to go back down to $4. And next thing you know, pop. And so these pumps, these pumps are scary, but it goes to show you that these coins, even these dead coins can even pump in a, in in alt season, bro. That's how you know, bro. That's how you know it's alt season. This low cap coin is pumping like crazy. Sora Sora's on a hype cycle right now. Sora Sora just broke all time highs, but they also have an airdrop coming. So I believe most people are in the Sora for the airdrop. Let's see what coins you guys are putting down here. EDG Edgeware, this is a polka dot polka dot coin. What is edge what what hype does Edgeware have right now? Oh, it looks like it's bottoming out. See, I I'd I'd buy something that like this. Something that hasn't pumped yet. Something that hasn't like, you know, it's not crazy from the bottoms. I I like this. Uh, like buying at what? What we're sitting at like not not zero zero eight seven cents and it can go up to point twenty point zero twenty four. I'll take that risk. You know what I'm saying? I'll take that risk. But I don't know why. RFI. Um I I've, I've been I was watching yeah, I've been seeing the reflect finance. I didn't buy it. Oh bro, no, it's it's uh, uh -oh. I'm just gonna have to miss it, bro. I'm just gonna have to miss it. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to miss it, dog. Mm mm. Mm mm. I I, I should have like when it was making support right here is when I I would have I would have probably got in right here when it was making like resistance support. But yo, ride the wave, ride the wave. Six million dollar market cap, a million dollars in volume. Why are we looking at such low coins, bro? Mup, like y'all just trying to get rich, bro. Y'all just trying to pump these coins, dog. But it's okay because that's what it is. AP three, 
did somebody put AP3 in here? I feel like some no. Okay, that was just probably the hot list coin. I'm looking at this TBTC though, because I I've seen TB, TBTC and if it's a real like, um, no third party holding onto your coins thing, I might I might I might mess with it. Oh, TBC might just be on the hot base rebase token that's on the run. Ethereum yieldy. I don't I don't even know what Ethereum yield is. But it looks like it's been out since November. Looks like it had a nice bottoming out phase. And then it had a nice little pop off. Um, is it another farming token? Yeah. Um, I'm I'm gonna wait and see. But two million dollar market cap, one million dollar in trading. Like I said, we we looking at some stuff that's just so low, but could 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 really reap some crazy benefits. Bro, this RFI army is in here at all. What else then? Oh, what coins it am I? Am I looking at? Hold on. I'm going to pull up my Zerion over here and just show you guys. Because I got... Uh, like, I, I ain't even going to hold you guys, bro. Pop this guy off. Oh, so this is something that I was worried about. So Rocket Pool, um, it looks like they finally topped out, and it looks like they're finally like, um, and I might I might end up selling my Rocket Pool, just because ETH 2.0 staking is finally here, and you know you're supposed to be able to stake with them. But look at it looks like people can stake with um Coinbase, people are gonna be able to stake with Binance, and they're gonna be able to stake very little amounts. So what's the point of the Rocket Pool one if you can just do it with Coinbase or Binance? And this is what I was worried about. And so they've and they also delayed their launch as well to next quarter. So people are probably selling off their coins. And this, like I said, guys, like I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you. I'm I'm probably gonna sell my rocket pool tokens for the profit i got uh, i'm gonna see what happens tomorrow if it keeps dipping i'm a, I'm, a, I'm a for sure sell um just because until until they get some good news coming back or until they come back to a point of support where i can buy back in some more but that, that's just me being like 100 percent, 100 percent with you guys you gotta show us the receipts but yes, yeah, so that's one. Um, just like DYDX, I'm a little worried about that Z Hedrick. And five million. I don't even know what this thing is supposed to do. But I'm gonna hold. Uh, I'm gonna check that out. But there's this Z Hedrick. But I've got a Hedrick bag as well. Um, decent decentralized option trading on Ethereum. I I told you guys about this one um a while back. I was on this one a while back because I ended up buying this top right here and felt like I got rug pulled because after buying up here, um this happened and I was just telling you guys I'm gonna just hold on to the coin just because I know that it might just pop back up and I was supposed to buy some more down here but I was scared and then this happened <laughs> and I was telling myself I knew it. I knew it was gonna pop back up. If I would have bought more down here, I would have had I'd be in so much more profit. Um But I've been holding on to this token for a while. Um with all the stuff that's been happening, hopefully that it finds support right here and then continues pushing forward. Um I recently just got back in what is it? I recently just got back a bag of RLC. So I recently, cause I rolled RLC from this bottom hype and then cashed out over here. And it looks like it's making support at like these older tops. So I got me a nice little bag over here. So hopefully we'll see how that goes, but I got me some bag of RLC. I know it's probably gonna pump later on. 
I'd rather buy these lows and sell at like these highs of like four dollars if we're over here. That's a solid four X, you know what I'm saying? Solid three X later on. So we're holding on to that. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. I told you guys about the RXT. I told you guys about the yearn. I got some ETH. Um, not gonna lie, I made a trade this morning. I made a trade this morning off of B U I D L. I made a trade off of this morning off of Biddle. Y'all know why. I ain't even for to say anything. Y'all know why I made this trade. Y'all can put it in the chat. Y'all know why I made this trade. I understand people. I'm going I'm to tell you guys right now. I understand people when it comes to like these coins. <laughs> and um, I didn't even see the, I didn't even see. Do it. Hedging, that's the one very comp. I don't understand option trading, so that's why I'm not using it for the option trading. But I want to learn to see because it might, you know, it might be a good skill to learn. But like I said, sometimes I'd be afraid of these DeFi apps. Um, keep token, are you talking about keeper or keep? Because I know there's like two is it the keep networker? Is it the keeper down? Um, I farms I farm some keeper Dow. You might be talking about keep network, but I have farmed some keeper Dow. Um, I want to see keeper Dow come back down to like these lows, because these were some good lows for keeper Dow. I might you know scoop up some keeper Dow down here, but eight million dollar market cap. I'm waiting for some fud to come out. And then when it's first FUD, and then once the FUD comes out, I'll probably jump back in just to make sure everything else is not um, crazy. AUC, Octus, how much time? Okay, I got I got like four minutes because we've been doing this for um, an hour, and I don't want to I don't want to keep people too long because we over here just we just like oh three million dollars, bro. What twenty six? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I don't care. Nah, bro. It, it did have a nice little pump. It sure did, but no volume. Three million dollars. We're so low. Mm mm. Uh uh. I'm, <laughs> EWT, please keep network. Keep her down. Keep network. Okay, keep network. It looks. It that's. It definitely looks like on the lower end. Three thirty-three million dollar market cap but half a million dollars in trading volume. So there's no volume on here. It looks like, and it looks like it had some volume over here, but it looks like they lost their market maker where somebody sold and somebody didn't want to hold on to this. That's what I see happened. Um, nah, I'm not, well, I guess I could look at the white paper. Boo. Keep network. Oh, see, that's all you had to say. I'm gonna slide this over here to TBTC. Stake ETH for TBTC. Earn keep. Learn how to. Okay. Say less, bro. Part of the research team right here. I'm be researching this right here. But like, I don't think people really understand. Sometimes people really do be giving out gems in the chat. I got, I gotta check out this Z lot stuff. But yeah, I made a trade on Biddle. Yeah, y'all know why. I understand human psychology. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I understand human psychology. Um, EWT. I got a bag of EWT for sure. Um, hold up. I actually want you over here because I have to look back, I and mean, then I gotta look up this when I come back. Energy Web Token. High market cap, solid. I had got a, so I had, so just to be 100%, I had got a bag somewhere right here. Oh, oh was it here or is it here? I think I got a bag like somewhere right here and then it crashed. And then I got a bag somewhere right here 
and then it crashed and so right now it's making this this point right here this what five dollars area five dollars six dollar area is trying to make that support i want to see it i i feel like a coinbase listing is coming soon it's got a million dollars worth of volume being at 81 so we'll see but i definitely do have a bag of this and i might pick up a bag of this down here just because it just looks like a good time to get a bag Oh, hold on. All right, we 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 hit the we hit the one uh, the one hour thirty minute mark. I could, like I said, I could go all day on this, and I don't want to make sure I don't go all 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 day. But that was a that was a bunch of coins that we could look at. Just like I said, y'all know, be careful with these DeFi coins and be careful with all these things. Um, close that out. My dog said, I, I, "We gotta see the receipts." My dog said he wants the receipts, but um, like I said, I, not all the coins that I buy have made gains. I just hold on to them until they pop back off. You know, that's just me, CPU miner. But I wanted to thank everybody that actually came through. Appreciate you guys for coming through the chat. Thank you for the five dollar tip from Bruh. What was it? Thank you for the five dollar tip, Carlos. I appreciate that, man. Y'all know every dollar goes right back into crypto, man. Because we're going to compound this until until retail comes in and FOMOs and buys the top for us. And we all become, well, I just want to become a thousandaires. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, I, I don't need to become a millionaire. I just need enough to pay off my student loan debt. And once I have enough to pay off that student loan debt, take off all that stuff, and then allows me to restart financially, it's going to be, who you don't want to know, you don't want to know. Uh, EWT has been painful. Yeah, no. but like I said, guys, thank you guys so much for coming through. I appreciate it. Check me out next time. Take it easy. Peace. Uh, Biden going to pay your student. Yeah, right. I, I, I'll see when I believe it. U.S. government survives off of debt. We live, we were debt best system. So it is what it is. But other than that, check me out next time. Y'all see the next video coming up. Take it easy.